Nice, that's nice. The Ebon, with whom we're visiting, represent the longhouse culture of Sarawak on the South Pacific island of Borneo. Life at the longhouse has been like this for some time, a rustic lifestyle, where for the past six centuries or so, these people have lived here or nearby, connected only by long stretches of jungle rivers, some of which are infested with crocodiles. Not all of the experiences here in Malaysia, of course, are of the Ebon village variety. We're still in the jungle, about 60 feet over the floor in the canopy, and we're walking across a bridge here that's about 60 meters long, so you get a real sense of being in the jungle here. The Oran Utan is the man of the jungle here. And for those of you unfamiliar with the Malay language, that's exactly how the two separate words, Oran, Utan, translate. Oran means man, Utan means jungle. So, man of the jungle, or jungle man, or jungle woman, come to share a meal with their friends and family. Big bodies clad in dark, shaggy, chestnut red fur, sometimes clashing against the forest green background, but at other times, blending right in. They're a part of jungle life and jungle lore, and the Oran Asli, or the indigenous humans here, have been sharing the jungle with the Oran Utan for centuries. It's Malaysia's official mascot. But the population of wild Orans has been diminishing for some time. Now they're protected by law and are a bit more accustomed to seeing people, but they're still very wild. As near as biologists can tell, Orans just love the trees. They love to climb in them, swing through them, and really just consider the dense jungle to be their playground. They've really adapted to the canopy and rarely spend time on the ground. And since their feet are almost the same as another pair of hands, they're actually more suited to climbing, swinging, and living in the trees. The young are completely helpless at birth, and you can see how closely they're attached to their mothers, hanging on for dear life. Then at about two or three years of age, they begin to move around on their own, and at about 10, they start their own family. One of their favorite foods is plentiful here, bananas, because in many cases it's provided by keepers. The Oran has had a tough time of it, though, for the past century or so, competing with humans and coming out on the short end of the stick as the native jungle has been cleared on much of the land. But now, humans are turning a helping hand toward the Oran and now help provide the diet of the almost humans. It's helping the population recover. Now this guy seems to be doing okay. Big fat cheeks attesting to the fact that he hasn't missed a banana or a meal for a while. Here I am in Malacca on my first shopping trip. I got a lot of wonderful things here. I'm not sure what they are, but we're going about to find out. It's the day before a holiday, so... Um, Hello. Hello. How you doing? <laughs> no, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Are you picking up magic stuff for magic day here or what? I hope. Uh huh. Uh huh. What are, what are these things here? Excuse me, what are these things for? What are these for? China. They're from China, huh? 